hi guys in this video you can see what is mean by DNS and what are all the roles and features which was involved in the creating the DNS so I'm using Windows Server 2012 R2 and this same feature and same settings will be used in Windows Server 2003 and as well as Windows Server 2008 R2 as well so first of all I'm going to Windows administrative tools so here you can see an option called DNS that is a domain name service which is used for managing the domain name service which So this is the DNS which you are going to use for testing and creating the zones. So <coughs> this is the which I am using as a DNS server and here if you see I have also installed the active directory. The active directory as well is installed in this server and as well as the DNS was also installed in this server. Already I have told in my previous video that without the active directory the DNS will not work and without the DNS the active directory will not work. At least you need a physical separate host machines for getting it to it work. So I have a valid active directory server that is the same server which I am using as active directory server and this is the same server which I am going to use that as a DNS server. So let us see how to create zones and what are called the zones. So by default whenever I am going to install the active data, when I am going to install the DNS server, it will create by default. These are the settings it will be created by default and if you see here you can see called as a host record and name server record and set of SOA records and these are the important records which is used for resolving the host name into IP address. So, what is mean by forward lookup zone? The forward lookup zone was used for resolving your host name into the IP address. So, for example, if you have a server with the IP address 192.168.1.3, that is a, this is a server which I'm going to, which I'm showing, and it has a host rec host A record. That is, if you ping to this name, you will directly get this IP address get pinged so let us see what is happening and keep in mind that you need to add your domain name so I have just given the host PA record name as server so if you ping to that it will return back the reply so for example this system was offline now so I am just going to ping it right now since it was offline it will not get pinged so this system was in online that is it was using the IPv6 address so it was pinging back without any issue so I am going to ping like dot in So it was returning returning back to me the packet. So nothing is that you can ping with this name of the host a record or you can also ping like this. This is the fully qualified name of this server. So I am just ping to pinging to show you. And this is called as the forward lookup zone. So if you want to create a another zone, you can just right click this forward lookup zone, select new zone, then select next and here you can see there will be three options called as a primary zone secondary zone and the sub zone the primary zone is used for creating a copy of the zone which will get directly updated into the server so if you are using a master server you can use this primary zone and if you are using a secondary physical host machine for a DNS you can use this secondary 
zone because it will only used for reading the copy of the DNS records which will be available in that server so secondary zone is used for only creating the copy of the zone that is it will get the copy of the primary zone and so what is called as a stub zone stub zone is called as a zone which was which will contain the copy of the zone like copy of the zone records like name server SOS SOA records and some host records and it is not a authority zone so you can create these two zones and if possible you can also create this zone when if you want to store those records in the zones of the active directory server you can enable this option which this option was new in the windows server 2012 <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to create a primary zone and then select next and zone name. I'm just going to say, give it as a test. And this is the file name which will be created, and this file name will get stored in the Windows root directory that is the system root 32 and DNS folder. So we can also use the existing file. So I'm just now I'm going to create a new file, select next and here you can see allow both non-secure and secure dynamic offsets if you and here you can select finish and here if you see the zone was created successfully so if you want to create a host record just right click on the zone and select the new host and just give the name like I'm going to give you as Google And the IP address in the J dot J dot pin and you need to enable this option but I will tell you about this in my coming up video so uh, right now I am just going to select the add host and select ok and done so here you can see this IP address is given and this for the name of the Google and if you see here this is the this is just a test zone which I have created but here if you see this is the server which I have so here if I want to create a host record it will directly happen to this server and the name will come like this Google and if you see here Google dot taken dot so here you need to give the client systems name or <coughs> some, other <coughs> some other name which will be which you are going to get associated with the IP address and you need to enable the allow any authenticated user to update the DNS record that is authenticated user means if the user was added to the DNS admin then you can enable this record but be conscious while enabling this record and you need to keep keep in mind that you have enabled this record like this and in future it will be helpful for troubleshooting so I will delete this one so I just created a host record that is I have with the help of this forest lookup zone you can resolve the host name into the IP address where else you cannot resolve the IP address into the host name so for resolving the IP address into the host name you need to create the reverse lookup zone so I am just going to create a reverse lookup zone select next select the primary zone select next that is it to all the DNS servers I have selected select next I'm going to use IPv4 address here you need to give a network ID that is I am using it 192.168.1 this is the network ID which I am using here so after giving it select next and allow both secure and non-secure dynamic update select next finish so here you can see I have created the reverse lookup zone and there are no PTA records the PTA records are used for resolving the IP address into the host name and this host PA records was used for resolving the host name into the IP address so
I'm going to create a PTR record. You can create this PTR record easily by right clicking, right clicking on the reverse lookup zone and select the new PTR record and you can give the IP address of the host I'm just going to select 4 and the host names you can also browse for the host name here I'm just going to select client so you need to select the host A records for this host name and select OK and give OK so PT records are successfully connected to configured in this reverse lookup zone and there is also another option which I have earlier shown that is right click on the host record you just give the name paste IP address and here you can select this create associated PTI record you just select it it will automatically create the PTI record so if you see here just refresh it you can see this PT record is automatically created so like this also you can create it and this one was used for resolving the IP address of the hostname and this for lookup zone was used for resolving the hostname with the IP address and you need to keep in mind that what all the records are created and how long the records will be managed and that <sighs> there are still more things which needs to get explained in this uh, DNS manager I will explain it in my next video so thank you for watching my video I hope it will be almost clear for you the basic things will be almost clear for you I think so so if you have any doubt you can just ping me on or you uh, can also go to this website and you can just ping me on without any issue I can reply whenever I see